So, we're going to be talking about my movies here. So, if you want to uh, listen to me talk for like three hours, I'm probably not exaggerating on that either. Um, good on you, I guess. So, let's start up here at the top. I know you can't see it because I couldn't, I can't, I can't get everything in the shop. My room is literally not big enough. So, up, 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 up here at the top, I have, I have two things. I have this, which is a book uh, called Creative, Creativity Incorporated. It's about, it's written by Ed Catmull. He's one of the guys at Pixar. And it talks about, you know, Pixar. And it is signed. I've never, I don't, I'm not good with reading books, so I've never read it, but I want to get to it someday. So, it's signed here, right, by Ed Catmull. And my other... Thing is my Seinfeld complete series collection. I bought this for like thirty dollars. I've never seen all. I don't watch Seinfeld, but I might watch it eventually. And it's a really nice pack. And here is the uh, where the DVDs are. And this is a coffee book. Although I keep it in the thing in the container because I don't want it to get stained. So those are the more major things. Now let's talk about my Blu-rays up here. I know they're kind of out of, they are, they, they might be out of frame, but this is the first thing we got to talk about. Okay. So Um, trying to find a good setup so that I'm not out of frame here. We've got the Avengers on Blu-ray. This is really nice, actually. You know, I own all of the MCU movies, so. And I have this one on Blu-ray because it has, like, a short film on it, so I want to have that. Um, yeah. Really good movie. Next is Avengers Confidential Black Widow and the Punisher. I watched this one, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I haven't watched this one, sorry. But, you know, I, I have to watch it soon for my, for a project I'm working on. We've got... Damn it. I hate the way that this shelf is set up. It's like the top and the bottom of the thing, it doesn't line up. So you can push a DVD back at the bottom, but not at the top. So it's not like perfectly aligned. Because me and my parents built this ourselves. So, damn it. Okay. So next is Avengers Infinity War. Really hot. And, uh, yeah, this is a really fun movie. Really good. Um, you know, I don't know if it's, like, the best movie ever made or anything like that, but it's, it's, it's fun. It's probably, it's one of my favorite, favorite films ever. I know that some people might think I'm just, like, a huge Marvel fanboy. I really like the MCU, but, uh, I've actually tried to branch out into other film, so... Yeah, other films to try and watch. And next is uh, Black Panther. This is, I'm really happy to have this on Blu-ray. Um, this won like three Academy Awards and people loved it. So one of the films that was pretty universally liked even people that didn't love it were like, okay, it's fine, you know, 
Not amazing, but it's good, right? You know, I hate people that just ruin everything. It's like, dude, who did, who hurt you, man? Like, it's not a big deal. If you disagree with the popular opinion, you don't have to act like everybody else is wrong for disagreeing with you, right? That goes both ways, too. So, yeah. Anyway, this is Bonnie and Clyde. I want to watch this, but I haven't yet, so... We got... Oh, you know what's interesting I watch? Is if Roger Ebert said anything nice about you at all, or, or Siskel or Ebert ever made any, said anything good about you, they're, they're going to be used those blurbs. Always. Always. It's always them. And I know why, because they're the most like well-known film critics, but it's just kind of funny to me. Because it's like, I bet that there are other people that have written more positive reviews. It's just, you know... They're the most well-known ones. They're probably the more respected ones, even, too. We got Captain America Civil War. Um, this is a nice... This is a, this is a really fun movie. You know, I don't understand... You know, I guess it's cool to see two super-powered people fighting, but... I never understood why people got so, like, hyped up over it. I guess it's kind of... You know, this is essentially another Avengers movie. I don't, I don't know why they should, didn't just make this an Avengers film, I guess. I had, like, the same hype. Sorry. Just wanted to check and see if the camera was on, because sometimes my phone turns off for some reason. Um, we got... Captain America, the first Avenger, you know, this, you know, this is, I don't know where, I bought this online, so, you know, I come, when I buy things online, I used to buy, like, everything online, so you can, they, you get them from kind of shady origins, you know, I like this movie enough, it's not, like, my favorite movie ever made or anything, but I think it's, Red School was cool, and there was lots of stuff that was just really fun, honestly, so, it might not be the best movie ever made, but it's kind of one of those films that you can watch without really, like, worrying about everything, you know? You know, this movie... Oh, this was back when I started... When I was just collecting superhero movies. I think I had three movies that weren't superhero movies. I, I'll get to those when I get to them. But, you know, now I just... I collect anything, but, you know... With this, it's just, like, I went to somebody's house, and they were like, okay, you can take some DVD if you want, right? And they were like, oh, I was like, found, this is like the only, one of the only superhero movies I had, and I was like, okay, I'll take this one. And it was never opened, unopened, so I opened it here, and it, I I have not seen it, and I w hopefully will never see it, because it, you know, it, it probably sucks, honestly. Okay, Dark Phoenix here. I know this is technically like 4K Ultra, but there's not enough of them for me to justify having a new section. I just have 4K movies. And we got X-Men Dark Phoenix. Dark Phoenix. Fun, fun. You know. I, I, you know, this movie was just so bland. Like, it was a fun... Like, I, I feel like they made it so that it was kind of like X-Men um, First Class or Day of Future Past or whatever. They made it like that, but then they, like, wanted to... Um, they wanted to, like, make Logan, because they wanted to kind of come off the success of Logan... So, yeah, it's not very good. Another one I have. Yeah, Doctor Strange. This case is really annoying. You know, most... Honestly, I don't even have as many superhero movies as I used to. But almost all of my Blu-rays are superhero movies. Just because usually I only buy something on Blu-ray if I really want it. Because Blu-rays are almost always more expensive. And, um... Almost, I usually don't buy something that isn't Blu-ray. Um, 
I usually only buy superhero movies when I like really. I you superhero movies are like the only type of movie that I like buy or I used to buy at least that would be, be like justify me buying like a Blu-ray. So Doctor Strange, Benedict Cumberbatch. I I watched the uh, Imitation Game recently. He was really good in that, and you know. It just kind of gives me res more respect for the actor because he did a really good job in this one. It just kind of makes me want to watch it again. So it's, it's fun enough, right? Okay, next is Crimes of Grindelwald. Yeah, I think people were a little hard on this one. Like, it's not amazing, but think about it. Freaking J.K. Rowling so far has written... Seven books and two screenplays. Eight out of his, her nine things that she's written have been great, okay? Some people don't like Fantastic Beasts. I really like that movie, okay? I love it. I wa I used to watch... Like, I don't like it as much as I used to. I it was a lot. That was my favorite movie, but now it's not really. Um, I used to watch it all the time, and even now, I still find it like a really fun film. Although I have most of the lines memorized at this point because I've seen it so many times. But, yeah, it's not amazing, but okay, big deal. She's made so much stuff. And, you know, I want to make it clear. I do not agree with her, like, as a commentator because she's a, a jerk on Twitter. But, you know, as a writer, she's great. I don't understand why people get so mad about, like, mad about this. Like, it's it's dumb. I mean, yeah, it's a bad, it's not like, I don't think it's like terrible or anything, but obviously she's going to make a couple duds, right? Like she can't just make perfect movie after perfect movie. Even freaking Stanley Kubrick didn't make every single movie that was perfect, right? Anyway, we got Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. This is what I was just talking about. I really love this movie. You know... I think Jacob Kowalski especially was was one of a very interesting character in the lore of Harry Potter because it talks about like how, you know, we never get a like a muggle's point of view just being thrust into this world. It's really interesting. He's a really funny character. I actually I really like Dan Fogel. He's uh, in the Goldbergs. I don't really watch it anymore. My parents do, so sometimes I watch it with them. But um, he's really funny in that too. So you yeah. know. Next is uh, Green Lantern. I this I've never seen this movie. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's probably not very good. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, what a surprise, am I right? But you know, I I just. I really wanted a copy of this movie, and I was like. And it was really cheap. It was like three dollars or something. So I was like, okay, fine. I'll get it on Blu-ray because I couldn't find it on DVD for some reason. So I was just like, okay, I'll buy it on Blu-ray. Then like the next week, I go there and they have it on freaking DVD. It's kind of frustrating, but it's not that big of a deal. Anyway, next, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. I have Volume One, so it's on DVD. Um, you know. Not as good as the first one, but definitely good. And, you know, I like Kurt Russell in, like, everything. And I watched Death Race, and that movie sucked. But the only reason it was, like, in... Always, like, a five, even, was because he was just so good in that movie. There were other things I liked about that movie, but he was by far the thing carrying that film. And with this, you know, this has got a great cast... Very well cast, and I could say that about all the Marvel movies, right? Very well cast film, and you know, especially Kurt Russell, he was like the first really good Marvel villain. Because, like, you know, I honestly that is one thing that I do like about him is that he's actually like a fun guy. You know, he does do a couple stupid things, but he's he's good enough. So. Hitchcock, you know, I was learning more about Hitchcock, and I was like, I watched this, this podcast, listen to this podcast, I used to listen to it a lot more, but I don't really do it anymore, because it got, like, really, like, the people 
on the podcast. It was called Behind the ba- Bastards, if you want to watch it. Or, sorry, listen to it. It's good. But the people that t- are on the podcast are, like, they, they tend to go on to these, like, crazy, like, ramblings about, like, nothing. And I'm just like, dude, just, I came here for the information about these terrible people. Don't just come on with some really bad humor, okay? Hitchcock, I listened to, like, two or three part Behind the Bastards on him. And he was like, um, he's really interesting, right? I watched some of his movies, uh, and I want to watch this here. They they made other films. I think there was uh, another movie called The Girl that came out around the same time, but I don't know. Next is Iron Man three. You know, this one I got some problem with both sides on this. This is probably one of the most controversial movies in, like, I've seen so many people review this, and I just feel like. People are, like, being super hyperbolic and over-exaggerating. Like, the consensus among most, like, movie critics that just critique film, like, that critique movies, like, on YouTube, either for a living or, like, they do it all the time, and it's, like, just a really big hobby of theirs. They usually say this movie is good, but then for people that are fans of the MCU and don't really watch a ton of movies, they say this movie is bad. I've had this from both perspectives, and honestly, I can say there are some good things about it. There are, you know, obviously, freaking Tony Stark is great in it, obviously. Um, Robert Downey Jr. just plays the character so well. There are lots of good things. Like, you know, the twist with Mandarin was like, I did not... I'm a big fan of Mandarin. I did not see that coming at all. Right? So that was really cool. But, uh, the, but Killiam, which is the guy that, that is behind all of this, is like the worst antagonist. Like, I'm, I don't think I'm exaggerating here. Of, of any of the MCU movies, he's the worst. Okay? Because first of all, he, he's tried to be portrayed, for the long, for a long time, he's like portrayed as, like the, like, a good guy, but, like, obviously, he's the bad guy. Like, we all can tell, right? And we all knew that he was, like, working for the Mandarin or something, right? And when it's revealed, oh, yeah, yeah, he's working for the Mandarin, he's like, oh, really, that's not surprising. But I was halfway through the movie, that's fine. But I thought Mandarin was going to be the main antagonist, and that's why I was excited, because I was like, Killian was just going to be, like, this dumb side character, and then he just turns out to be main villain, he's just like, his plan with the fire guys is just so bad, honestly. There are lots of things I like about this film, but it's a villain situation, it just, you know, Mandarin, really, really well, good character, but, you know, you can't focus all your energy on your twist, you gotta, a twist villain, you gotta make sure that your real villain behind it is, is entertaining too. Oh, we got Iron Man... And Hulk, Heroes United. You know, they did Captain... They did, like, Iron Man and Captain America, Heroes United. And that's only on digital, so I don't have that. Um, But this one's physical. I've never seen it, but I have to watch it for... I'm, I have to watch it some. I'll probably watch it sometime, so I don't know. It's not... I you know, I'm a big fan of Marvel and stuff, but... I've just never really had the... Well, I've never really wanted to watch all these animated movies. Um, this one is kind of interesting. Is it has the Punisher in it? This was like the Punisher before he was like in that TV show that was really good. So you know, uh, it's interesting. It's got like Hawkeye in it, like Widow, and the Silver Iron Man, whatever his name is. Anyway. That's cool, I guess. It's fun. And this is an old... This is, this is like from early 2000s. So we can remember, this is like... I think older... That It might be older, or it might be like... Newer? I don't remember. It doesn't matter. But they have new movies, but that that's, you know... Anyway, so... Next is Kick-Ass 2. You know... 
I watched this movie, and I watched the first one too, but we'll talk about that when we get to it. And it just sucked. It just sucked. Like, this movie, like, who's the guy that directs it? Matthew Vaughn. Right? I knew who he was. I just couldn't remember his name, right? Um, I liked him, like, I liked Kingsman, which he also directed, I think. I'm pretty sure he also directed Kingsman, right? But this movie sucked, okay? The violence was used super inappropriately, and honestly, I've just hated this movie a lot. So, yeah, but we'll get to Kingsman, too. Next is the Lego Batman movie. Now, I... I have the Lego movie, too. Uh, I gotta get those other... I think the Lego Ninjago movie, which I watched and wasn't very good. And that Lego movie, too, which people said it wasn't very good either. So, yeah, this is not... I mean, this is okay. I'm not a huge Batman fan, but the, some of the jokes were really funny. And I liked how... They took, like, a new perspective on the, the characters and, you know, the idea of villain instead of, you know, but, I, yeah, that's, I don't know, I don't know, this is, there's some creative ideas, but it just, there were lots of times where I just felt like they weren't. You know, it wasn't perfect, right? Logan, right? This is Logan. But your face? Your face? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's not like a terrible movie or anything. And there were some parts I really did enjoy it. But there were some points where I just felt like, why did you do that? Um, ending, I don't think the ending was very good, honestly. But most mostly through the movie. There were some decisions I was like, why? why? But, you know, mostly it's good. So I'll give this a, I don't know. Okay. Um... Man in Black, this is a fun movie. I watched it, and I was like, hell, I don't really, I'm not a huge guy, Will Smith guy, but he really works in this film. You know, the, the, the sleeve is all messed up. I wonder if I can get a new sleeve for this, but I bought this at, like, a pawn shop, so that's why it's so messed up, but, yeah. And... You know, you got Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith. They do a really good job in this movie. So, uh, yeah, it's fun. So, you know, everyone's seen this movie already. Men in Black 3. Yeah. You know, I thought that Josh Brolin would be really bad in this because, you know trying to do like a time travel story like this usually rarely works but um it's fine I guess and it's pretty actually you know what it's pretty good we got Riz Sonia Queen of Plagues a DVD that took me way too long to to procure and was not worth the effort. I have not seen this one yet, but I am uh, not excited. So, <sighs> Spider Man 3. I guess all I can say for Spider Man 3 is I enjoyed it more than Spider Man 2. Uh, we'll get to that. We'll get to you, Spider Man 2, because I, I, I have problems with you, but whatever. Spider Man 3. Uh, there's some fun things, but, uh, it felt really, like, 
rushed most of the time. Like, it feels like they couldn't have fit all of the stuff in here in, like, ten hours. So, yeah, I understand why this is kind of a complicated, like, idea, you know? Next is Spider-Man, uh, Far From Home. This is a fun movie. I really, really like this movie. I think it's very original. I hate Spider-Man, but in the MCU movies, they do a really good take on Spider-Man. So I think that um, these are some of my favorite movies, like, just ever. I really, really like them. And I think this movie is very exceptional, especially in credit scene. Uh, usually, I don't talk... Like, I usually, in Marvel movies, it's just like, the end credit scene is, you know, it's fine. It's cool. But, you know... It's just a tease for another movie, so it's not like it's a huge deal. But for this one, this was really exceptional. I was so cool. It was so cool when I saw that. Even... Star Wars The Force Awakens. I just did a review of this one. Kind of, in my Star Wars video. Um, yeah, it's a fun blockbuster film. But you know what happens is that, like, even with Marvel movies... This is kind of a problem, but it's not as bad. It's like the first time you watch it, it's like really cool. But then you watch it tw another time, and it's like, this is not very good. And you keep watching it, and it's just like, ugh. Even for the MCU movies, this is kind of a problem. This happens usually a lot of times with blockbusters. But like the, in the MCU, it's not as pronounced. But in this one, it's very it's a very steep curve. You watch it like three times, and you... Watch it fourth, and you're like, oh, I'm sick of this. Like, this is, this is what happens, okay? <laughs> okay, we got Suicide Squad. I watched this, like, half of this on TV, and it <laughs> was really bad. <laughs> well, I watched every Joker scene, so I think I can... I, I don't have to suffer through this, um, f uh, trash fire of a movie... Um, I, I, ever, thank God. And I just watched all the Joker stuff so I can actually, because I really like the Joker, you know, so I can have an opinion on Joker in the film without, you know, needing to watch the film because he's only in, like, 2% of the movie. So, that's, next is Thor... I don't remember it very well. Loki's cool. The two girls, Natalie Portman and Kate Cat. I don't know. I don't know what her name is. Yeah, obviously they suck. I don't... You know, Natalie Portman really shouldn't get her own movie, but I hope to freaking God... I hope to God that they don't have that other... That other girl. Because, you know, Natalie Portman is bland. I hate Natalie Portman, by the way. I've hated her in everything I've seen, right? And, but, uh, Kat Dennings, I think, is her, her name. I might be wrong about that. Or no. It's not Kat Dennings. What am I, stupid? It might be Kat Dennings, but it's probably not. But it might be, I don't know, the other girl from the movie. And she is the worst part of that movie. She is the most infuriating thing ever. I just want to throw my phone at the screen. Though the Dark World, you know, I didn't like it the first time I watched it. And I'm not saying that the second time you watch it, it's going to be better. But it's not as bad. There are still some funny parts. And there's some interesting things. But yeah, it's not very good. So I wouldn't recommend it. Although everyone says that anyway. So, you know... Thor the Dark World. Sorry, Thor Ragnarok. I just did Thor the Dark World. Thor Ragnarok. Uh, I'm very happy. You know, I my probably one of not my favorite, but one of my favorite comic books is Planet Hulk, and I'm really excited to have that in a in like a may like in a huge movie. It's really cool. Uh. This is a really... This, is, I think, is my dad's favorite movie. He really likes this. Um, and the guy that directed this is very promising. What's his name? <sighs> I don't know. 
He's Taika Waititi. Yeah, that's what that is. And he's a really promising filmmaker. He'll probably make more uh, good films. So, uh, Thor Tales of Asgard. This is an animated movie. It's probably not going to be very good. But, you know, who knows? Maybe it'll be amazing. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. I don't watch animated films, but I do own them because I kind of have to own them. I'm just making, as I keep hitting my legs on this, my bed because it's right in front of the shelf. I have to put, like, something here to cushion my legs. Oh, that sucks. Okay. We got Watchmen, the director's cut. I watched the original cut, Watchmen. I've never seen the director's cut. This is a really heavy Blu-ray. Like, well, how many have they got in here? They've got three D discs in here, so that's a lot. What? You got the digital copy. Cool. Um, I recommend the uh, I recommend the book, but the movie's he's pretty good. You know, I hate on Zack Snyder a lot, but he actually does direct this film really well. So that's nice. Look at that. Wolverine, the, or the Wolverine. You know, I predicted the twist, by the way. It was really obvious. I didn't even know if you were su supposed to not fall for it. It was that obvious, because I'm not even sure. Um, you know, it's fun. It's not super dark, like Logan. And it's not fucking terrible, like... X-Men Origins Wolverine. Um, so, yeah. It's a, just a fun Wolverine movie. And I'm happy they did that. And it takes place in Japan, so it's cool. Wonder Woman. Never seen this. Not excited. I hear Gal Gadot's pretty good, but I just don't care about DC. So, yeah. Like, it's not like their comics or movies are bad. No, don't get me wrong here. Because I really like the Joker, and Batman is cool and stuff, right? And their villains are probably the... Especially the Batman villains are probably the best part of their comics, but... I just don't care, honestly. I'll, I'll just say, I don't really care about their stuff. It's not like they're bad, I just don't care. Now, uh, we get to the end of the Blu-rays. X-Men Apocalypse. Um... Yeah, I, I hear people say this was really disappointing. It, it wasn't, honestly. I feel like it was pretty on par with the other films from the series, so... Yeah. It's a fun film. I don't think people are being a little hard on it. Well, that ends that. We can get down here. Our first film is... I hate these dumb cases, these weird snap cases or whatever. We got 2001 A Space Odyssey starts at the top. I like almost all of Kubrick's stuff, but this was a real doozy for me. I, I did not enjoy this film at all. It was just, like, so boring. Like, I know that the special effects were amazing, and I get it. The special effects were amazing, and they're really good. Even They hold up even now. I mean, if you watch it, it's still really good. But it just feels like there's no story. Like, okay. Uh, aside from Hal 9000, or whatever his name was, you, have you ever seen, if you might have seen the Mr. Plinkett reviews? Well... He says in his first one, let's ask some real people about the characters of the Phantom Menace, right? Now he says, try to describe the character without describing um, what they wore, what they look like, or what their role in the movie was, right? And they explain, like, personality traits and stuff, right? If you try to do this for any of the characters in this movie, aside from Hal 9000 or whatever the name is, you couldn't. I don't... If you tried... I've tried this with Dan. Dave. Sorry, he's the main character. And I 
cannot think of a single a a character. Like, they didn't characterize these films at all. They were just obviously preoccupied with the special effects. Which are good if it's the 60s, but it's not. So, you know, I don't think it holds up very well. This is like the textbook definition of I don't think it holds up very well. And this is one of the main movies that I think is like way overrated. Like, might even be the, my opinion, the most overrated film ever. If you like it, that's fine. Don't don't get me wrong here. You can have your own opinions. You know, your opinions are just as valid as mine. But I don't know. I just never liked it. Okay. So, freaking, this is, this is really annoying. Okay, 21 Jump Street, starring uh, Johnny Depp. Now, I, I did this, I like, a long time ago. I was, you know, I'm still a big fan of Johnny Depp. I really like him. He's my favorite actor. Now, some people might say, oh, you know, whatever, he sucks. You know, he's, he's a, <laughs> the problem is that he has, like, a really bad agent. He's, like, Sean Connery, like, he does not choose movies good at all. Like, he's almost always the best part of every movie he's in. And he was really good in this. I watched, like, the first season of it, and after the first season, I was just like, ugh, I just don't even want to watch this anymore. So, yeah, kind of a fan of the series, but not a huge fan, you know? Okay, next is 21 Jump Street, like the remake, and I haven't seen this one. Here it's one of the best, like, really good films that are, like, based on TV shows, you know, that kind of thing. They get things like chips and stuff. This is really nice, probably. I have not seen it, and I probably won't like it just because I'm a fan of the, the TV show, so it's kind of, like, hard to watch something so different, but... Probably good. I might enjoy it. Same thing goes for 22 Jump Street. I'm just surprised they didn't come out for a third installment in the series because, you know, uh, what's good sells. A lot of people like this movie, so. Yeah. Now we got 300, another Zack Snyder film. I'm trying to get all of them. But I'm, I think I'm missing Dawn of the Dead. I think that might be it. Let me think. I think that might be it, yeah. I don't know most of his films. Anyway, 300, yeah. Uh, I've not seen it. probably say that about most of these movies. I don't really... I, I mean, I try to get to as many films as I can, but the problem is it's nearly impossible to get to all of the films that they've made. Um, I, I buy films more than I can watch them, so, you know. I'll probably never watch most of these movies. Um, 300, it's a... It looks good. I mean, there was a meme about it, like, a while ago. You know, this is Sparta. Oh, funny. Hilarious, right? I still think it's funny, but a lot of people don't, so... Yeah. 300 Rise of an Empire. This is, I, I've never heard anyone's opinions on this movie, so... I would say it's almost certainly worse, but I've never seen it, so I can't say. Um, we got 30 Days and Nights, a horror movie about vampires. Uh, I bought this because it was based off of a comic book, and I don't ever want to watch this, so... Come on. Yeah. It, the Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. You know what's funny about this? Is that they call it The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. But most people forget that Mr. Toad is one of the guys that is has adventures. You know, even in this disc it says, oh, The Adventures of Ichabod and then The Adventures of Mr. Toad, right? But... I 
he's the first, like, Mr. Toad is the, the first guy. You go and you watch Mr. Toad, and it's like, it's not two short films, it's one long film, it just has two kind of segments. So you watch Mr. Toad, you watch The Wind in the Willows or whatever, and, and watch that, watch that, watch that, okay, and then now you watch The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, which, by the way, they really, I don't know if they should have adapted this to uh, become a animated movie, but hey, it is what it is, right, you know? We yeah. have... The Shark, the Adventures of Shark Boy and Lava Girl in 3D. I think that might be one of the longest titles I have for any of these movies. And, uh, yeah, from what I've heard, it's not very good. And, uh, from what it looks like on here, it doesn't look very good. So, yeah, I'm not surprised that it's probably not going to be very good. Now, I'm just going to check the camera because it tends to turn off. I wonder if... Yeah, it's still on. This will go on for like 10 years. Okay. Akira. You know, I bought this. And it's funny, because I didn't know... Like, I was thinking, I've looked for everything, every movie. I looked as far and wide as I could to find every single film that was based off of a Marvel comic book. I looked... Everywhere. Everywhere. And this one I found last minute, right? I was like, how is this a Marvel film? Well, I'm glad you asked because the people that were selling this to me didn't know either. But in America, the manga for Akira was distributed by Marvel. So technically, it's a Marvel movie. So I have to watch this, even though I have no interest in anime. I, you can like anime or anime, as my dad insists it be called, if you want, but I just don't care. So, you know. We got Alien vs. Predator. Tried to put some goo gong on this, but that didn't work out very well. Um, and... You know, I've never seen this, so yeah. I've heard it's. I've heard some people say it's good. I've heard some people say it's bad. I've heard some people say it's just a fun movie. I don't know, but most people seem to think it's bad. At least that's what I hear. Almighty Thor. This is funny because it's just a rip off of Thor. I don't know. It's funny to me. And it looks terrible. This is an asylum, so I bought it because it's like based off the world. I might watch it, but I won't hold my breath because most of their movies are really boring. We get Alvin and the Chipmunks. You know, I, I, I hate this movie, but I also love it, too. You know, most people talk about, oh, you know, this movie sucks or whatever. Yeah, it's it's a guilty pleasure of mine, kind of like Cars 2. Both movies I enjoyed while I was younger. I'm still young, but when I was younger, like, when I was like five, and watch again, I can still have some enjoyment out of them, but I recognize that they're not very good. David Cross is really good in it, though. Right? Now, we got Road Chip. I got this one because I want to get all the Alvin movies. Uh, Road Chip, yeah. Uh, this, I, I think this is the only, I know this is going to be disappointing, but I think this is the only Alvin Chipmunks movie I haven't seen. Yeah, I saw almost, I think I saw all of them when they came out. Oh, wait, I might be. I was like, oh, we might want to watch this, but then I, we were like, nah. Like, we had Uptown Funk is in this movie. I remember because it was in, like, all of the advertising. We, you know, what's the funny thing is, in Australia, we had, like, a really bad connection. So we would just watch on this really stupid app. We would just watch ads for other children's movies. And I saw that one, like, a million times. Anyway, we got Alvin the Chipmunks, the Squeakquel. Aha, oh, scrape. 
It was terrible. It was a terrible pun. You know, the first one was fun, but the second one was just like, even back when I was a kid, I was like, oh, this is bad. Not like it was cringy bad, like not where I watch it now, but I just was like, I hate these Chipette characters. Yeah, I, ha I just hated them. So, I'm gonna put that back because I, you know, got Amazing Spider Man. Uh, this is. This is. I mean, what. You expect. I'm not a fan of Spider Man, and this movie sucks. So yeah, there's some okay things, but mostly yeah, it does suck. And Andrew Garfield is a terrible Spider Man. He's way too fucking old, and he's cool, which is not what Spider Man should be. I mean, I know Tom Holland is is like is like hot and and cool in real life, right? But in this movie, Spider Man is played like he's a cool guy, but in Tom Holland plays him like kind of like a dweeb. Whether or not you like that, I'm just trying to make a distinction because the Spider-Man fan base is extremely brutal. So I know nobody's gonna watch this video anyways. Nobody cares. Spider-Man movie fans are not gonna watch this up, uh, up to this point, and no one is honestly. I'm just doing this for fun. The Amazing Spider-Man Two. Uh, yeah, this is worse. If I thought. Amazing Spider-Man sucked. Wait till you watch this. This. Great. Great movie. That's so good. Uh, it's so good. You know what's funny to me? Is that they kill off Electro, who is just horribly cast Jamie Foxx, right? And then they get um, they get fucking, they get this other dude with the Green Goblin, or whatever, Dane DeHaan, right? And they, he, he, they defeat Electro, and then the Green Goblin just comes. Like, just immediately, like, they just gotta stop one battle and just immediately go to a second one. Why did they even think having three villains was a good idea? Remember how successful it was the last time it... They did it, you know, it only killed a franchise. Like, that movie wasn't even that bad. It's a lot better than this. American Psycho. Uh, I'm excited to watch this movie, but I haven't. Because I haven't yet. Yeah. Look, I'm intrigued to watch good horror movies, not trashy slasher films. Like, if you that, if that's your thing... That's your thing. That's cool. It's just not my thing. Right? I like good horror films. Like, good, like you know, The Shining and stuff like that, you know? I'm not talking about, like, old classic Dracula films or whatever. Yeah, Angry Birds. The, the Angry Birds movie. This I watched this in theaters because my parents wanted to. Uh, this was when it came out. And it... I, I, I thought it was okay when I watched it. Watching it again, I, I do... You know, it's not like I, I am worried that people are going to have... Oh, they're going to think I oh, have different opinions than they do. I don't really care. But I do understand why people don't like this movie. It's not very good, and I don't like it either, watching it again. I haven't seen the second one. Some people say that's better. Yeah, perf another perfect stranger, uh, this movie. I bought this... For one dollar, this is a sequel to a perfect, the, the perfect stranger or a perfect stranger. I don't know. I bought this for one dollar on my birthday when I went to a uh, DVD shop, and yeah, I'm, I honestly can't believe they still have places that just sell DVDs and video games. It's like amazing, but um. And this is like supposed, this is like a freaking, it takes up the story of Klemensky family. Is this like a religious movie? I don't want to watch that. Ant-Man. Okay, so Ant-Man for me has an interesting story. This is not Ant-Man. This is not 
Ant-Man that I originally owned. Now, what happened was when I started collecting movies, I bought, okay, before I started collecting movies, I went on a camping trip that I think I'm pretty sure has been my last because that mo that that was really bad, right? And it had a movie and and I hated it. I hated not having movies, right? But we would go like I wanted to watch a film because I was bored, right? Um right. Like we were camping but we didn't, we only slept in the tent. It wasn't like a thing, right? We spent most of the day at my dad's, like, fa one, like his a extended family's house, right? And I mean, I was really bored, so I bought Ant-Man for like $10, right? Uh, I started collecting superhero movies, and I was like, okay. I will take my Ant-Man movie, and that was the first movie I ever collected, right? I... It wasn't in very good shape. So what happened is, I ordered a copy of another film. I can't remember which, but they accidentally sent me Ant-Man, right? They said, just keep it, we'll send you the right DVD. So I got a copy of Ant-Man. I had two copies of Ant-Man. And so I just wasted $10 buying Ant-Man, but that doesn't matter very much, right? And I have this other movie, and, you know, that'll come soon, right? It was annoying because I, I had to wait longer, but you know, it was, I got a better quality version of Ant-Man because the old Ant-Man just it was all bad, bad shape, beaten up. But I'm happy I have a good quality one. Um, yeah. We got Ant-Man and the Wasp. This is a fun film. It's fun enough. It's not amazing. Yeah, cool. Avatar. Don't know why it was the highest grossing film for ten years because it's not very good. Um, Avengers Age of Ultron. Uh, People, I think, got a little overly mad about this one. It's not that bad. Uh, there are some boring parts, but I think it's fun. Avengers. Avengers Endgame. Not exactly perfect, but is my favorite movie I've ever seen. Now, you might think, oh, I just like superhero movies. No. Well, yes, most my top three films that I like are superhero movies. None of the other top ten are. So, i just saying. It's just because I just love this film so much. I've invested so much time into it, and it was just so satisfying. I know people sometimes hate on something just because it's popular, but I like it. I got AVP, Alien vs. Predator Requiem. It's I, it's a sequel to a movie that sucked, so, you know, it probably sucked worse. Um, Back to the Future, I watched this one and reviewed it for 12 Days of Christmas with Dad. It's a fun movie. I saw it in 2015, too, when the, uh, the mark of Back to the Future 2 was, right? So, yeah. I got Barbie in the Pink Shoes. Okay, there's an interesting story behind this. I don't want you to think I just go buying movies like this. Because if I did, I would probably own more than just one. Right? So, it was my birthday, and I got my friends over, and one of my friends, you know, Isaac, right? He's, he's got a sister, older sister, right? Don't get me wrong. It's like a teenager, but she used to have, you know, she used to really like Barbie. So, she had, like, a collection of Barbie DVDs. She's got to sell them, but... Isaac was like, okay, just give me one of them. I'll give it this one for a joke on his birthday, right? So he gave me this, and I was like, I told. by the way, I totally predicted it, right? So this was one of the, I'm not kidding. This was one of the first non-superhero movies I have. I think the first one was this random German film. I, and we'll get to that later. But 
this is like, it's kind of funny. And I'm, I, I might watch it on April Fool's and do a video about it, but I don't know. Who knows? Maybe. Okay, Batman. Yeah. This is the original 15, 15 segment Batman movie. It probably is not good. And I don't want to watch it because it's like a million years. Anyway, we got Batman. Uh, it says Batman in the movie, but it's actually just, just Batman. Um, It's got holy special edition Batman. Never seen TV show, so probably won't respect the film very much. And I, pr I probably won't watch it. Maybe, maybe I will if I do a Batman marathon. Uh, we got Batman. You know, it's funny how they can just put Batman symbol with the front case and we know what it is. It's fun. And no, this marketing is really good. It's like the new Pixar trailers where there's sequels to movies where they don't put the trailer in anything. They don't put the, like with Toy Story 4, they didn't put the, the title in any of the advertising, right? And everyone knew what movie it was because everyone knows it so much. It feels like it's a game at Pixar. It's kind of the same thing. This is... I'm probably like, my ba the Batman in this, even though I like Dark Knight more, um, I think that Michael Keaton is the perfect Batman. Best Batman. Maybe you could get better, but I don't know. Dan Affleck isn't cutting it, in my opinion. We got Batman Begins. Okay. Um, I like this movie, but it's kind of distracting because I know... What's his name? Uh, I know Christian Bale from a hundred other things. And I know some people get distracted when they see him in other movies and they're like, oh, that's Batman. But when I watch this, it's like, oh, that's Norman Bates or the guy from Empire from the Sun. I, I don't know. Um, it's just weird. It just doesn't feel like Batman. He plays a good, like, Bruce Wayne, but I'm not sure about Batman. Right? Eh? Yeah. Okay, we got, but it is fun, it's a fun movie, right? Okay, we got Batman Forever. Okay, and this has got Jim Carrey and Tommy Lee Jones, and and they decided for some reason, to, I guess because maybe it was Michael Keaton didn't want to come back, they decided, okay, let's make a freaking, let's give Val Kilmer here. I've never seen this movie. I don't want to watch it, so... Uh, Val Kilmer is probably not a good Batman. Batman and Friends this is a movie about... This is just a collection of episodes from a TV show. Um, Batman the Animated Series. I watched the entire series, and I loved it. These episodes are some of my favorites, so I'm happy that these are the ones that were on the thing. I... Underdwellers, POV, The Forgotten, and Big Clown, some of my favorite episodes. They're real good. We got Batman Returns. Um, yeah, this has got real dark, this one. So everyone was like, I heard, um, you probably heard the story, but like, everyone was like, oh, so crazy about this, like, oh, it's a dark movie, oh yeah, it's a Tim Burton movie, who could have freaking guessed. I don't know. So then they freaking shifted gears real hard and got to Batman Forever. Then that got even worse. That made it even worse. They killed the franchise of Batman and Robin. You should just stop at the trilogy mark, but no, they had to dig themselves deeper and make this movie fucking terrible. By the way, they decided to ca recast Batman for a third time in the same series? Why? Would, did Val Kilmer not want to come back? Like, I didn't like Val Kilmer, but he was fine. But then they get back, oh, George Clooney. Oh, yeah, that's like, going to be great. Like, I've never, I've never seen George Clooney anything else. He's probably good in those, but in this, he's just terrible. He's just terrible. Everything is bad in this, okay? Don't watch it. It sucks. You got Batman versus Superman. Batman v Superman, sorry. 
Dawn of Justice. They got on their back here. They got Wonder Woman because they know that Wonder Woman is a big deal. Batman vs Superman. Zack Snyder's Master Opus. I mean, what we get? I mean, Dad, my Dad. I never saw this. I was just like, I don't care. But Dad saw it right through this. He was like, Yeah, this is gonna suck. And yeah, what a surprise. A movie directed by Zack Snyder about Batman and Superman endlessly hitting each other wasn't a big success. Uh, okay, we got A Beautiful Mind, the movie Cool. And this is it's one best picture, so I had to pick it up. Nice, fun film. I gotta kind of breeze through these. American Hero, Greatest American Hero, never seen it. This is a collection of four episodes from the TV show. Big Hero 6, I watched this, like, half of this once, and it doesn't look very good. Big Hero 6, by the way, people don't know Big Hero 6 is, um, is, uh, Marvel. Yeah, that's cool. Big Hero 6, the series, I watched, um... It's because it has Baymax Returns on it. I That's the only reason I bought it. It's a collection of episodes from the TV show. And this one's interesting. Bill Cosby, Far From Finished. He did a, a, a stand-up on Comedy Central in 2012. Great timing. Uh, you know... He was going to do another one called Bill Cosby 77 on Netflix. And they recorded it, they did the show, they recorded it, they edited it, everything was done, set to be released, fully finished, or at least, like, they might have been a little bit editing, but it was fully finished, for all intents and purposes. And then, fucking, oh, accuser number one, accuser number 20 comes in the same week, or whatever. And I mean, it, it, that's not actually how it happened, but that's what it felt like, right? Every all huge waves of backlash. Now, they think, okay, so either this is gonna blow over, which, by the way, it, it absolutely didn't. Um, and we'll just re um, we'll release it when Bill Cosby is in a better light. Or option number two. Um, this gets way worse, and if it does, then uh, we'll look really bad if we release this. So, they were just like. How about we just don't, and they haven't, so I really want to see that, but, yeah, this is terrible. This is such a terrible, I, I watch stand-up a lot, and this is probably, might be one of the worst stand-up pieces I think I've ever seen. It sucks so bad. Bill Cosby himself, uh, might be good, might watch it. Um, Birdman, this is pretty overrated. It's fun. Michael Keaton's acting is good, but it just feels like so artsy. Like, it's trying, it's being like really trying to get an Oscar. Like, it really feels like that. So, I don't know. We got Blade. Uh, fun movie. Really liked it. Blade 2. Um, you know, Guillermo del Toro does a really good job directing this, and he go on to direct like a hundred, hundred other things, like Shape of Water, which won Best Picture for some friggin' reason. And Blade House of Chathan is like the pilot to the TV show, and it probably isn't good, isn't good. Blade Trinity, after, this is like, uh, Wesley Snipes needed some money. The movie, that's essentially what it is. Um... Blasting the Big Game Master Bully. This is a this is one episode from the Bible Man series, and um, it is fine. No, I'm just kidding. I've never seen it, so I don't know. But it's probably really bad. Okay, that Blood Diamond is about like Blood Diamonds. I picked it up because it wants monsters, you know. Oh, we got. Finally done with this shelf, onto this shelf. We got Born Identity, Born Supremacy, Born Ultimatum. All part of the same series. Wanted to watch the Born movies. We got Brave, because I wanted the Pixar films, all of them, but I haven't got the full collection yet. Captain America, I printed this one myself, got the same case all. 
I got everything. I, I, I did everything. This is a custom DVD, right? And it's just the TV sh It's just the episodes from the, um, the serial film. Captain America, the... I found this at, like, a... At, like, a Salvation Army, so I'm actually really happy about this, because usually movies, like, obscure like this, I usually have to buy them from, like, online. There's, like, $20, so I'm happy I found this one for, like, a dollar. The Dollar General. And... Cat... You know, it's fine. It probably isn't very good, but whatever. Captain America... Uh, I watched this one. It sucked. Uh, Captain America the Winter Soldier. Um... Fun, but boring in places. Captain Marvel, uh... The main... Okay, almost everything is great with this movie, except... I know that I'm not sexist, but... I think that they made her character too invincible. She doesn't seem to have, like, any major character flaws. Like, it's not like I think this movie is sexist, or... Or something like, oh, it's not like I'm some fucking Republican comment, or, or I should just call them Nazi commentators at this point, because, like, it's not even, like, Republican commentators. I, I, you don't want my opinion of politics, anyway. If you want that, I have a video about politics called The Triggered, about the Triggered book where I read this with my dad. I am not reviewing the movie, but, you know, that's the problem, right? Casablanca. I didn't like this movie. I didn't like it. I don't know why people like that movie so much. Okay. Casino. Fun. I don't know if it's better than Goodfellas, but it's a nice film. Okay. Casino Royale. Have not. I'm trying to watch all the James Bond films. Have not gotten this far. Catch me if you can. I got this one because I want to own all the Steven Spielberg films. I've seen all of them, but I want to own them. Okay. Eh? Get that, because uh, I want I want to own all the Dr. Seuss movies, and I know this one really sucks, so, yeah. Catwoman. I mean, what do I even have to say? I mean, this was obviously a bad idea, right? Charlie and Chocolate Factory. I really like this movie, and I think that people are overly critical when they talk about it. Like, it's not that bad, okay? There are some problems. There are problems. Many problems, but overall, I think it's a fun film. Whoa, whoa. Chinatown. Yeah. I haven't seen this one, but to want to. Oh, the Polanski film. Yeah. I just I just watched Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. It's got Roman Polanski in it, so. Or, well, not actually, but. Got, got playing Roman Polanski, so that's cool. Chronicle. Really liked this movie. I think it's actually a really good twist on the found footage superhero genre. It's found footage and superhero genre, so that's cool. Uh, Lion, Witch, and a Wardrobe. This is the live-action one. My mom is a big fan of the Chronicles of Narnia. I am not. The movie, the first book is okay, and the rest of the books are terrible. In my opinion, you can have a different one, right? Fine. It's, I've never seen any of these movies, so we could just tackle them all at the same time. Prince Caspian, Voyage of the Dawn Treated. Treater is misspelled, by the way. And all of these suck. Or at least that's what I've heard. I haven't seen them. Citizen Kane. Fun movie. I've already talked about this in my 12 Days of Christmas. It's good enough. Clash of the Titans. This is the old... The, 80, the one from the 80s. It's... I've not seen it. Millennium 2000. Really want to watch it. Have not seen it yet. Conan the Barbarian. This is the new one. Have not seen it. Conan the Destroyer. I can't find the original Conan the Barbarian, so I just have this one. Constantine. Uh, have not seen it. Crazy Rich Asians. Haven't seen it. The Crow. Salvation. I have. I don't have the original Crow on DVD, so I'm not gonna watch that one until I see the first one. Daredevil. It sucks. I know controversial opinions, right? I'm gonna check and see if my. Camera is still on. Yep, still on. I gotta go really fast because I also won't get through these all. Dark Knight, a really fun movie. No, no, it's not. Not really. 
I've watched this several times with other people, and they've all gotten a multitude of reactions, and it's really good. So, thumbs up. It's good. Dark Knight Rises. Uh, I watched this one after the Dark Knight, and I was just like, ugh. It didn't even feel like it's part of the movies. Um, it's not very good. So, anyway. David Cross, Bigger and Blacker. I watched uh, another one of his stand-ups, and I liked it enough, but I haven't seen this one yet. Deadpool. I watched this with my parents recently. And, uh, yeah, I know. Their parents are really cool. I would watch this movie with me. But, yeah. Um, it's one of my favorites. I really love its twist on the superhero genre. Deadpool 2, good, but not as good, right? Death of the Incredible Hulk, haven't seen it. Distra Dick Tracy meets Gruesome. This is one of the old, old Dick Tracy. It's one of the oldest superhero films. It's from, like, the, the 30s or 40s. It's real old, right? Anyway, Die Another Day, haven't seen it. Digital Films, this is a cu another custom DVD, right? It's just got some digital movies that I found up online, and I just... Uh, illegally downloaded them. Uh, I'm just kidding. They're all public domains. They're fine. This is an interesting one. Now, I know I said that. I said that. Um, where was it? Ant Man. This is the first film I collected technically my first film, but this is my oldest film, kind of. The first one I collected, kind of. It's the case and the box, the sleeve and the case. I made it, right? The disc, however, was sent to us in one of those dumb, like, disc sleeves or just paper, you know? From Disney, uh, this is a Disney Park Guide from 2013. I got this in 2013. Yes, I'm not kidding. So that was seven years ago. This is the, the one I've had for the longest. I cannot believe... I've moved like three times since then. It's amazing I still have that. Whatever. Doctor Strange, uh, the Sorcerer's... So, uh, what is it? Doctor Strange... It's, an, it's got a subtitle under it, but, like, I don't remember. I haven't seen it. This is the first movie that I owned, aside from this Disney one, that wasn't a film that was a superhero movie. Now, let me explain. I was going to my DVD store, and I saw one in German. My dad, who knows German... It's kind of a little bit, a little bit German, right? Was like, oh, that's in German, then the language that the Nazis speak, right? So I was like, I gotta get that because I'm. Is this is all in German? This isn't just like the back is in German. I had to translate that. It took forever, by the way, to type that up on my phone, right? And and I was like. I gotta watch it, because I want to see what something German would be like. I don't know. It's a kid's movie with puppets, and I wonder, right? Kind of obscure. Like, more like, really obscure. We got Dread. I haven't seen it. Dr. No. This is the first James Bond film. Feels like James Bond never had a first film, and just kind of started existing. Um... It's fun. I don't know why they didn't start with Casino Royale, because that was the first book that they made, but it's fun. It's a fun Bond film. Probably one of the better ones. Doctor Strange, this is a TV movie, and it, I watched it with Elijah. It's fun. Earth, it's a documentary narrated by, um, had black guy. Uh, and there's like a lot of them, but Morgan Freeman, that's who it was. Haven't seen it. Edward Scissorhands, moms keep saying, I gotta watch it, haven't seen it. Edward, haven't seen it. Eight Crazy Night Nights, will hopefully never see it. Electra, uh, yeah, I sadly have seen this one, and it sucks. 
Yeah, it's even worse than Daredevil. I honestly wish that this movie didn't exist for one reason, because that would make Captain Marvel, the first Marvel movie, have a female lead. Which, it deserves the title so much more. Because while Captain Marvel, the main character is kind of bland, the rest of the movie is pretty good, right? Electra is just trash. Is just is just trash. This is is so bad. <laughs> uh, the Latin Godfather. I haven't seen it. Okay, let's wrap around here. <sighs> Empire Strikes Back. Reviewed this in my Star Wars movie. Really liked it. E. T. The Extraterrestrial. This is I really hated this movie. Okay, the Expendables. All three of them. Uh, it they look exciting, but I haven't seen them yet. Eyes Wide Shut. Really. Really, really slow and boring. Like, I like being challenged, but when the thing that you're challenging me doing is just sucking, that's not really a challenge, okay? The Fantastic Four original, like, 19... Unreleased, uh, yeah... This is where Fantastic Four movies hit their peak. Um, Fantastic Four, this is my least favorite of them. And, um, 2005. Fan Four Stick, the new one. It's just, it's just, just, just so bad. It's just so bad. Silver Surfer, Res Silver Surfer. It's also really, 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 really really bad. Why did they ruin Galactus and Silver Surfer like this? These are like two of the best characters in comics, in Marvel Comics. Why did they do this? Why did they do this? Fantastic Mr. Fox, haven't seen it. Fast Five, haven't seen it. Fast and Furious, haven't seen it. Fast and Furious 6, haven't seen it. Okay, Finding Nemo, we've got, I only got to one I've seen. This is a fun film with like fishes in them. Um, I've seen a couple Pixar films, and this is one of them that's really good. So, I like it. Enough. And it's, it's not one of the best movies ever made, but it's not the best, it's not even the best Pixar movie, but it's fun. First Blood, haven't seen it. Fluffy movie, okay, this isn't a movie, this is a stand-up routine, even though it's called a movie, okay? Uh, one, I really like Gabriel Iglesias' uh, stand-up, but, uh, I feel like he shares a little too many personal details with, um, that, about his children. It just feels like he is, like, a terrible parent, but I could be wrong. I guess I can't say, I can't, I shouldn't judge other people's parenting abilities. I'm a child, whatever. Um, Forrest Gump, haven't seen it. From Hell, haven't seen it. From Russia with Love, okay, I have seen this one. It's fine, I don't even know. The thing about James Bond is that I genuinely cannot remember each movie from each other because they're so similar. They're just, okay. The movies with Sean Connery are the same level of quality. I'm not saying that they're the same movie. It's not like he keeps making the same plot or anything. It just feels like they could just make this a TV series because I cannot tell any of the films apart. Like, if you showed me one event from one of the movies, I wouldn't be able to tell you if it was from this movie, from this movie, from this movie, or in any of the movies. Any of them. And it's kind of annoying. Because he's sometimes good, and then he's sometimes bad, and sometimes, it doesn't even matter. Okay. So, I, I, okay, for the, the rest of the movies that are, have Sean Connery in them, that are James Bond, I will not comment on them, because I've said everything I already want to say. Okay, here we go. Okay. Fuck, haven't seen it. I'm not fat, I'm fluffy. Okay, this is a really fun movie. This isn't a movie. It's a stand-up routine. I like his stuff. And I think when he, before he, he's got like, so he's got like two versions. He's got like pre-beard and like post-beard. 
Gabriel Iglesias or Fluffy, right? And, um, and I would say that his pre-beard stuff is probably better than his post-beard, but whatever. Gandhi, I picked this one up because it was, uh, it won Best Picture, and I have to get all the Best Picture winners. Generation X, uh, I printed, this is a cut, another custom DVD, I printed this myself, printed the DVD, whatever. Uh, get Out, haven't seen it. I was actually gonna watch it, I watched like the first five seconds, and I was just like, I don't wanna watch it right now, so I turned it off. Ghostbusters, haven't seen it. Ghostbusters, have seen it, because I want, literally, I watched this movie out of spite, because I wanted to win an argument with my dad, and it is... I mean, I think that people underhyped how bad it is. This sucks. And is offensive in several places. Ghostbusters 2, I haven't seen it. Ghost Rider. The thing about this movie is that the plot is the worst thing about it. The love interest is really breaks the film. If you want to watch a film that's just turning your brain off, fun, action, kind of like special effects blowout film, Spirit of Vengeance. Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance better. It's not much better, but they didn't try with the plot. It's just a fun film with Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider is one of my favorite people, and I think Nick Cage plays him really well. Godfather, uh, I think it's a, it shouldn't be considered the best movie of all time, but it's good. It's really good, and, you know, there's lots of good things in it. They're, it's pretty boring. And it's really long, okay? Godfather 2, uh, this film was really hard to watch because it was like, it kept going, I don't know, it kept going through like a million different things, like a million different being like, oh, this guy and this guy, whatever, 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 whatever. And we just keep going from time to place and like going time, dang, and I was just like, I couldn't even tell. It was hard for me to even tell, like, what time it was. And it was really confusing, and it really broke the film for me. Godzilla, uh, I, watched, I tried to watch this on a trip, but I got really bored. This is a really boring movie. Goldeneye, I haven't seen it. Goldfinger, I already said I wouldn't talk about these movies. Goodfellas, fun. Uh, it's a fun gangster film, and I really, you know, I really liked it. You know, I'm not going very in-depth with any of these movies, because I will re probably review some of them later, and I, I haven't seen a lot of these movies, so, you know. Uh, Gotti. We got these Nuts. Oh. Gotti. Ha ha. Isn't it just great? I haven't, I haven't, haven't seen. Okay. I haven't seen Gotti. Green, Lord, uh, Green Hornet, haven't seen it. Green Lantern, Emerald Knights, haven't seen it. Green Lantern, First Fight, haven't seen it. Griff the Invisible, haven't seen it. Okay. Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, what could I say that hasn't been already said? Hancock. It's a fun movie about... I keep saying that all these movies. It's fun. It's about, like, a guy who, like, uh, is, like, super powered. And I think it's really good. You should watch it. Happy Elf, this one has a story behind it. So I watched this, like, years and years ago. Like, 2012, maybe even. Like, so long ago. It was, like, eight years ago. It was a while ago. And I just... We tried to watch it, and it just sucked. But this is one of the weird things, because I still remember some of the scenes from this movie for years. I would remember the scenes from this movie and not know what movie it was. I thought it was a popular movie. When we get to it, I asked my dad like a year ago, I was like, hey dad, what movie that we watched ahead of blah, 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 right? And he was like, okay, this movie, um... It was like this one. And I was like, okay, I'll watch it. And I was oh, sorry, I found it at my place. I was by, by movies, and I was just like, I'll get it. I'll get a copy of it. Whatever. 
Harry Potter, Chambers, Secret, you know, just to cover all the Harry Potter movies. I like the books. The movies aren't very good. They leave out a lot of stuff. Especially the Deathly Hallows movies. I, okay, sorry. Especially Goblet of Fire. That's the worst culprit of leading, leaving things out. Deathly Hallows movies are probably the most boring because they just feel really stretched out. Like, it's just like, just like too long. You didn't have to make two movies about this. Anyway. Hellboy, haven't seen it. Hellboy 2, haven't seen it. On Magistry Secret Service is really good. I know people know people don't really like this movie, but it's it's probably one of my favorite Bond movies, aside from maybe Goldfinger. Um and it just is like it's just it's just fun, honestly. It's more fun. I just love watching it. And it you know, the the Fun, like, I really liked how he got together with, like, the a gangster's daughter. And I'm really mad that they killed her off because I think that would have been actually a really interesting plot point to develop. I don't know. But whatever. But yeah, High School Musical and High School Musical, I haven't seen them. I already covered the Hobbit movies. I, my short views on them is that they're way too long. That's it's it. You could have made one movie out of this. They're too long. If you want to see, I did separate reviews for all those movies. Okay, Holes. It's fun, good movie. I like the book more. I read the book and I was like, oh, they made a movie out of this. Okay, we'll watch it. Oh, it sucks. It doesn't suck. It's actually pretty good, but the book is a lot better. Read that. Uh, hot and fluffy. Uh, hot and fluffy. I mean. It's like, I'm not fat, I'm fluffy, it's the same, really the same thing, just more jokes that are different. I mean, it's a fun experience, but it's not like that. Man, How the Duck, oh, it's only my least favorite movie ever made. Like, I'm not kidding, this is the movie I hate the most. It's the only film I have ever made a zero, because I cannot think of a single redeeming quality from anything in this movie. It sucks so hard. It is so bad. Hugo, haven't seen it. Hulk. I literally fell asleep while watching this movie. That was how boring it is. I'm not kidding. Hulk versus haven't seen it. Ice Age, I... This is kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. It's not great, but it's a fun movie. I watch it a lot whenever I go on, like, road trips. Uh, Ice Age, Continental Drift. Uh... Yeah, I, I just got it because I wanted to watch the other Ice Age movies. Same with Ice Age and Meltdown. Inception, freaking... I hate Inception because it's just, like, confusing for the sake of being confusing. It's not even... It's not well... I don't feel like it's good at all. I think that's one of the most overrated movies ever. It's just so bad. <laughs> the Incredible Hulk... This is just a collection of show episodes from the TV show. Uh, same thing with this. You know, it looks like it's the entire TV show, but it's just a collection of episodes from it, right? Okay, so this is two of the revival films. The other one is Death and Incredible Hulk up here. Okay. The Incredible Hulk, the movie, I, I, you know, it's just good. No, it's not. I watched it once. I was like, okay, it's okay. I watched it again. I was like, oh, this is ridiculously bad. Don't think it's even like canon. In the MCU, it's not even really canon. Incredibles, um, it's really fun. I really liked it. Okay, Indiana Jones movies, and that goes. Or where's Raiders of the Lost Ark? That goes for you, Raiders too. When I find you, and I kill you. Is that evil? I kill people for fun. Oh, hoo hoo. Yeah, I gotta rush through these. Cause I don't wanna. Spending a million years doing this. Uh, there, I already talked about my Steven Spielberg movies, but they're fun. They're fun movies. They're 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 good. You know, they talk about like they they do some really. I like how they. Uh, I don't know. I like how they. 
brought attention to archaeology. I guess that's the main thing. I guess, because I, I have to sum up all of these movies I've seen in, like, one sentence. So, kind of hard to do that. Uh, Inglorious Bastards, it is a Tarantino film. That's really all you need to know. It's one of his best. Inhumans, this is a pirate version of the TV show. Haven't seen it. Inside Out, watched it a while ago. Uh, it's good. It's pretty good. I liked it. Not amazing, but I liked it a lot when I first watched it, but not as much now, but it's still good. Um, In Time, haven't seen it. Um, The Invincible Iron Man, haven't seen it. I, Robot, have not seen it. Okay, Iron Man movies. I, yeah, the two Iron Man movies, okay, they're fine. They're fine. That's it. You don't need to... They're fine. That's it. First movie's really good. Second one's okay. It... This is the original... Original TV miniseries. Haven't seen it. Jason Bourne. Haven't seen it. Jaws. Okay, this was fun, but really nothing to be really great. Joker. I really like this movie, but it's not like a masterpiece or anything. Joaquin Phoenix did a really good job in it. Jonah Hex, haven't seen it. Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Uh, I was kind of biased against this one, where I, but I watched it, and it's okay. Not amazing, but okay. Jurassic Park, uh, good. Jurassic Park 3, haven't seen it. Jurassic World, haven't seen it. Justice League, haven't seen it. Justice League, haven't seen it. This is League Unlimited, Saving the World, haven't seen it. Okay, Kevin Hart, I'm a grown little man. Kevin Hart's... First, stand up, and it's fun. It is, I think this was, might have been the, this was a really good movie, or stand up. I really like Kevin Hart, so let's just talk about all of them. Okay. All of his stuff is really good, and I recommend it. Recommend it a hundred times. It's really, really good. It's really great. Now, one thing, I want to talk about What Now, which is one of his pieces. Okay? Now, What Now, I watched a little bit. I went to, to do a birthday party. I was getting a sleepover at somebody's house. Unnamed person. I don't want him to get, like, attacked or whatever, right? And I was like, well, we were watching some movies, like, at night. And we were going to be like, okay, let's watch freaking uh, Kevin Hart. And so we did. We watched Kevin Hart. And I didn't know what it was. And I, I watched it completely differently. Like, like I watched it completely. Like, I found it different. I didn't suspect anything. I watched it. I was like, oh, I already saw this. It's like, I didn't even know. That's cool. Okay. Kick ass. Yeah. So this is a kind of interesting story. So, mom wanted to watch this with me. Dad wanted to watch a movie with me, right? So I, this is back when I just had, like, superhero movies. So I was like, okay, come up to my room. You choose a movie, okay? They were like, kick ass. I was like, okay. Like, I knew what was in it, but my parents are cool. I think they, you know, I don't really get... I've seen everything, and I've seen... I, I watched A Clockwork Orange with my mom, so it's not like, you know... I, I, I've... You know... I'm okay watching uncomfortable movies with my parents, but they were like... They they were like, oh, you know, the guy in Distrator said it was really good, so we should watch it. And watch it, and it was so bad. It was just like... Just sex and violence all the time. It was... Ugh, they didn't have anything in it. It was just it. That was why it was so funny, apparently. They were like, oh, we didn't expect it would be like this. And I thought it was really funny. This is just like, you know, I don't know. Kill Bill and 2. I, I, they're the same movie. Um, all of them. They're essentially just one film. Just really long, I guess. Uh, it's really good. I really liked it. King Kong, this is the original one. I already did a review of this, but, uh, yeah, I think that the entire movie relies way too heavily on special effects. 
Now, they would have, it would have been okay back in, like, the 30s. The special effect is really impressive. Even, like, now it's really nice. It looks really cool. But we have special effects that look more realistic. So, I don't know. Prefer it. No King Kong, the new one by Peter Jackson. Uh, yeah, this movie, I tried to watch it. I watched, like, half of it, and I was just, like, so bored, and it was so long that I was just like, you know what, I think I'm not gonna finish it. And that's what I have. I have not finished it yet. Okay, we got Kingsman. There's a Golden Circle and the Secret Service. Let's just do both, right? They're fine. They're fun movies. They're not like intellectually great or anything but they're fun enough they got Kong Skull Island I really like this movie I think that people hate on it a little too much you know there are some bad things about it but honestly I think it's really good um so this is this is laughing out loud America's funniest comedians this has every single comedian you could possibly imagine in it okay I'm not I'm talking everyone this, I'm going to read off every single X. We got Carrot Top, Louis Anderson, Diane Ford, Richard Belzer, Cheech Marin, Caroline Reed, Bobby Collins, Jim Carrey, Richard Lewis, Tim Allen, D. L. Hugh Lee, Jack, Jason Alexander, Rhonda Shear, Bruce Bannon, Jeff Altman, John Fox, Norm MacDonald, Paul Rodriguez, Chris Rocks, Chris Rock, sorry, Jeff Foxworthy, Adam Sandler, Giant, Je, Je, Janine Garfello, the legendary Wid, Steve McGrew, Grew, Daryl Hammond, Ray Romano, Bobby Collins, John. Mulrooney, Laura Nightlinger, Nightlinger, Tom Arnold, Marty Putz, Dennis Wolfberg, Bob Zanny, Jenny Jones, Drew Carey, Jerry Seinfeld, Brad Garrett, Kelsey Grammer, Adam Sandler, again, I wonder if there are two guys named Adam Sandler, if that was just a mistake. Wait, did they already they put Adam Sandler in? Anyway. Um, Max Alexander, John Caperona, John Ferran, Ferrantino, Judy Tenantu, Carol Leifert, Jeff Foxworthy, and Rosie O'Donnell. Uh, so this is pretty star stud. This has, like, everyone in it, right? Uh, I really want to watch it, but I haven't gotten over to it yet. I will watch it eventually so we got the league of extraordinary gentlemen sean connery is you know it took bad roles haven't seen it right legend of the guardians the owls of ghoul uh is, i got it because it's Zack sniper uh haven't seen it legend of zorro haven't seen it like marvel superheroes this is another custom one uh but i this is just like lego marvel movies man lego movie I used to really like it, but not as much anymore. Leprechaun. Haven't seen it. Leprechaun 4. Haven't seen it. Or, sorry. The Leprechaun 4 in space. It is not going to be very good. But at least I haven't got the Leprechaun in the hood ones. Or Leprechaun back to the hood. It's T-H-A. <laughs> T-H-A. Not T-H-E. T-H-E. You know, the, the, the like, level of unself-awareness is genuinely baffling. Like, I know it's supposed to be a horror comedy film, but just, like, the level of desperation that they must obviously... that is so obviously showing just feels like they just have no idea what they're doing. Here we got Leprechaun Origins. Haven't seen it. Leprechaun Returns. Haven't seen it. Letters from Iwo Jima. Have not seen it. Isis to Kill. Haven't seen it. Lincoln. Haven't seen it. Just kidding, I have seen Lincoln. It's really good. You should watch it. Um, The Living Daylights. Haven't seen it. Live and Let Die. Haven't seen it. The Lone Ranger. Uh, 
I watched this on TV and I was able to literally predict everything that happened in it, even though I, no, I'm not, ki I'm not kidding here. There was this scene where this train happened and I was like, I, I bet the, you know, it's like big thing hits them guys and they got like, they're chained together, right? It's two guys chained together. It's big, like metal thing hits them and then stops this train which is coming out of them. I was like, Hey, that's, that's going to stop it. And it's like, Oh, it stopped it. And, and Oh, it, it broke off the, to like people's like handcuffs I was like oh yeah I thought that was kind of funny because it's like I was totally able to predict it even though I hadn't seen it Looper <sighs> I watched this Ryan Johnson did a good job here it's better than Last Jedi Lorax it sucked Lord of the Rings I watched the first two and I got bored because I really don't like Percy Jackson films so I haven't seen the third Losers, haven't seen it. Made in his image. This is a really dumb, like... My dad's a pastor, so he gets, like, dumb religious films, like, all the time. This is a super indie film. I wasn't able to find very much information about it online. So I just own it, even though I don't care anything about it. And it sucks, okay? Man of Steel. <sighs> haven't seen it. Man Thing. This is probably the only slasher movie I think I might have ever seen, and it is hilariously bad. Like, it's so unself-aware at how terrible it is. Man with the Golden Gun, haven't seen it. Mars Attacks, haven't seen it. The Mask, haven't seen it. Master of the Universe, haven't seen it. Mega Shark versus Giant Octopus. Sounds amazing, right? Haven't seen it. Man in Black 2, uh, so they sound really desperate to try and be part of the franchise or whatever after the first one. Uh, Men in Black International was bad was the worst, definitely, of the series. Midnight Phantom, haven't seen it. Minions, I I liked it when I was younger, but now watching it again is just really bland. Uh, Miracle on 34th Street, haven't seen it. Mission Impossible, haven't seen it. Mission Impossible 2, haven't seen it. Monsters University, I, I tried to watch it, but I had to leave. I was like really, 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 really young when I watched it, so I was like, I have to leave the theater. That kid, kid. Mighty Python and the Holy Grail haven't seen it. Moonraker haven't seen it. Mortal Kombat haven't seen it. Mummy movies haven't seen it. Munich, uh, yeah, that was, I was that was not what I was expecting because I didn't know anything about the Munich massacre before I saw this. Just because I'm not old enough and I am out of touch. It's not just because it was before my time or anything. Anyway, my cousin Vinny. Haven't seen it. My super ex-girlfriend. Haven't seen it. Never say never again. Haven't seen it. The Adventures of Nana Boy. It's a collection of episodes on a TV show. Haven't seen it. Next Avengers, Heroes of Tomorrow. I watched, I think I watched like a little bit of this like a hundred years ago. And I came across it. I was like, oh my god, was this the movie I watched? Like, I, I think I saw it at like an airport or something. It's, from what I saw, it didn't look very good. So, let's just say I haven't seen it. Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. I cannot believe that they made a Nick Fury movie that old. Like, it was the first Nick Fury movie they made. It's cool, right? They got David Hasselhoff. Looks fun. But, uh, yeah, I haven't seen it. A Nightman, this is the complete collection. This is all of Nightman. I have not seen any of Nightman. Ninja Turtles, this is a collection from the Ninja Turtles TV show. Haven't seen it. Nutcracker in 3D, and it sucks. Not good, but I haven't seen it, so I guess it might be great if only everyone hated it. It has a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes, which is, like, really hard. Okay, we got The Office. Uh, this, is the, this is the British one. Haven't seen it. Pacific Rim. Haven't seen it. Pan Labyrinth. Haven't seen it. Percy Jackson movies. Have not seen them. Pineapple Express. It's a... Creative com um, comedy, and I find it funny explaining the plot, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't, I don't really want to stretch this out video out any longer. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean movies. I saw like the Black Pearl, and I saw like the first one, and I saw the most recent one, and I think that people are hating on the movies a little too much because, like, yeah, it, it feels a little stretched. Like they didn't need to make four sequels, but I don't know. I feel like the newest one is okay. Yeah. 
Pirates of Treasure Island, it's just a, a silent ripoff. And I haven't seen it. Pixar short films, I actually have seen every single short film. It's a collection of short films that Pixar made. And it's really interesting. I really recommend it. Oh, uh, it's a collection, so there's more than one. You can find most of them on YouTube. Anyway, Pixels. It's probably not good. It's an Adam Sandler movie, but I could be wrong. I haven't seen it. Planet of the Apes. Haven't seen it. Planet Hulk. Haven't seen it. Psycho. This is the new one. I saw the old Psycho, but I haven't seen the new Psycho, but it's probably the same. Uh, people say it's bad, but, you know, I don't know. Pulp Fiction. Ah. This is one of my favorite movies. It's one of my favorite, 10 out of 10, it's one of my favorite movies I've ever seen. It's really good. Watch it. The Punisher, this is the old 1989 one. I watched it, and it's probably my favorite Punisher movie. The TV show is the best, but just from the three Punisher movies, Punisher is the best. And we got The Punisher. It was bad. Punisher Warzone. Worse. The Pursuit of Happiness. Haven't seen it. Quantum of Solace. Haven't seen it. Raging Bull. I watched that one... And I was just like, I mean, I think it's a little overrated. It's not like terrible or anything. It's just, I don't know. I feel like it's not very good. Okay. I already, I already talked about Indiana Jones. Rainmaker. I watched this one with my family, like my entire family, and I really liked it. So, yeah. Rango. I watched it a really long time ago, and I want to watch it again, but I haven't, so, yeah. Red, I haven't seen it. Red Sonia, really fucking terrible. I have seen it. Uh, Reservoir Dogs, it comes in this really cool case. It's like a can of gasoline, kind of, so that's cool. And it's not like Tarantino's best, but it's good, right? Re Return to the Batcave, The Misadventures of Adam and Bert. This is like a reunion film, a reunion episode, kind of. haven't seen it. Star Wars Return of the Jedi, or Return of the Jedi, yes. my favorite Star Wars movie, don't at me, okay, Rio, haven't, uh, I kinda, kinda saw a little bit of it, Rio 2, same thing, I haven't seen the full movie, but a little bit of it, I get like glimpses of the kind of films like this. Rise of the Planet of the Apes, haven't seen it. Robocop, haven't seen it. Robocop, haven't seen it. Robocop Meltdown, haven't seen it. Robots. There are some good parts. There are also some really bad parts in it, though. Rogue One, I've already reviewed this in my Star Wars thing. It's fine. Rudy, I got this one because it's, about, it's a movie about Rudy Giuliani. It's, it was in last week tonight, and I saw it at the place I buy DVDs, and I was just like, oh my god, I gotta get it. It was in last week tonight. So, that's cool, I guess. So, I was just like, okay, I gotta watch this. Oh, I gotta plug in my phone, though. Sorry, guys, but I gotta plug in my phone. My phone is almost dead, and I don't want my phone to die while I'm... Recording this. Okay. Scarface, haven't seen it. Chandler's List, it's one of my favorite movies ever. And it's so good, and you should watch it. Liam Neeson is really good in this movie. Scooby-Doo and Batman, haven't seen it. Scrooge, haven't seen it. This isn't the, the one people know about. This is like the, the way, this is like the old, old one, right? Uh, the, this is just a ripoff by the Asylum. The Sea Wolf, Pirate's Curse, or whatever. Um... Jungle Book 2, I haven't seen it. Shakespeare in Love, I had to buy it because it's one best picture, but I haven't seen it. Shawshank Redemption, 10 out of 10, one of the best movies ever. So good, oh my god, it's so good, it's so good, it's so good, it's so good. I usually hate Stephen King movies, but this one is really good. Um, Sherlock Holmes, this is the old, old one. It's kind of crazy that, like... 
Um, Christopher Lee is, like, it's bottom billing out of these guys. I mean, I know that, like, these guys were famous. Christopher Lee wasn't as famous back in the day, but it's just kind of crazy. Sherlock Holmes I and The Game of Shadows, I watched both of these. I really love them. I haven't seen the TV show with, like, Benedict Cumberbatch in it, but these are really good, right? Sherlock Holmes, obviously, it's probably bad because it's an Asylum knockoff film. The Shining, pretty good. The first time I watched it, I was like, eh. But I watched it again, I was like, yeah, it's really good. Short films, all volumes. I made these myself. These were personally made film. Uh, these were custom made. You were just a collection of short films I found online. Sin City, the second one. I haven't seen either of them. Nor does that go... That goes for Skyfall, Sky High, Sleepless. Okay, now we're on to... Oh, wait. Sorry, Sky High. I have seen that one. It's good. I saw it. It's really good. It's underrated. I, I like it. It's not like amazing or anything, but it's fun. You know, that, that's good enough, right? Sleepy Hollow. Yeah, this is kind of... It's, it's not like a great horror film, but I think that it's actually really good. Slumdog Millionaire. I had to buy it because it won Best Picture, but I haven't seen it. Snakes on a Plane. Uh, I bought this one because I wanted to, to watch Snakes on a Plane and review it with another great film. Snakes on a train me and my dad were talking about this and we were like okay and we were onto the place i buy dvds and i was like oh look at this spot whatever look at snakes on a train it's so funny haha ha. go in and i buy it and i'm like oh snakes on a train it's right there i gotta get it and buy it and then i'll own it social network i heard about it so i bought it i didn't really care much solo because i want to own all the star wars movies so i own solo sound of music I bought it because it, I, I won Best Picture, so I gotta get that. Spartacus, because it's a Stanley Kubrick movie. I have to own all of his movies. It's fun. It's great. It's pretty good. So, it's ain't good for the sound of music. I mean, these are really radically different films, but, you know, they're fun. Spartacus is way too long. Spawn, haven't seen it. Spectre, haven't seen it. Okay, Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man's pretty good. J, 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 Jacobson is really good. J... Whatever his name is, J. Jonah Jameson or whatever. He's he's great in both of these, all of the movies. The second one I hate, okay? The only thing is that's good in that movie is J. Jonah Jameson and the octopus, okay? Everything else sucks. Spider-Man Homecoming. I really like this movie. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I don't really like this movie. I know people love it, but I don't like it very much, okay? The Spirit, haven't seen it. Split, haven't seen it. Seen it. The Spy Who Loved Me, haven't seen it. Um, Star Wars Clone Wars, yeah, it's just a children's kind of film. You know what? I'll talk about all of the Star Wars films. Um, let's, let's talk about all of the prequels. They all were really boring and suck. It goes for all of them. Aside from some funny memes in the last movie, they all suck, okay? You got A New Hope. Uh, that's fun. It's my least favorite of the original trilogy, but it's good. It's really good. 9 out of 10. Good. Last Jedi. I, I don't like that movie very much. There are some really great highs, but some really bad lows. Street Fighter, The Legend of Chun-Li. Haven't seen it. Sucker Punch. It was made by Zack Snyder, so I bought it, but I haven't seen it. Superhero movie. It was a superhero movie, so I, it was a movie about superheroes, so I have to buy it. But I haven't seen it, and I will never see it. Just kidding. I, I might, but I hopefully won't ever have to, because it probably is not very good. Um, we got Superman the movie. Or Superman, I guess. And I was going to make like a long, in-depth analysis video for this movie, but I haven't gotten to it yet. I might do that, but, you know. I don't have Superman 2 for some reason. I keep looking. I can't find it. Superman 3, haven't seen it. Superman 4, haven't seen it. Uh, Superman Brainiac Attacks, haven't seen it. Superman Forever, this is just the old, like, Fleischer Superman movies, and uh, just in a DVD. Superman and the Mole Men this is the oldest Superman movie and the oldest DC film I think ever and it's I've heard it's fun so maybe I'll watch it someday 
Superman Returns, haven't seen it, but I probably, you know, Brian Singer is great. Um, great person, just overall not terrible, sexual, deviant person at all. <sighs> Superman Unbound, I don't know what that's about, I haven't even ever watched it. Mario Brothers movie, it's funny, kind of, funnily bad. Taxi Driver, haven't seen it, but, uh, you know, good transition from Taxi Driver to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, then I haven't seen the, any of these movies. It's just, I'm just going to skip the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles films, because I don't, I haven't seen any of them, okay? There are two, these two Howl's um, movies are like films that are, coll are, are DVDs collections of episodes from a TV show. Terminal, I saw it, it's good, I really liked it, and I think that people are being overly cynical when they say they don't like it, it's fun, okay? Thank you for smoking, I heard about it online, and I thought I would buy it, but I haven't really seen it yet, so whatever. Theory of Everything, I don't like Stephen Hawking very much. Yeah, but I think that Eddie Redmayne plays him really well. Thunderball. I already talked about all of I'm I'm I already talked about all the the Sean Connery James Bond movies, okay? Titanic. He's a Titanic movie. It's got James Cameron. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Whatever, okay. The next is TMNT or whatever. And it I haven't that seen that one. And Tomb of Dragon, which is a collection of two films, and I haven't seen either of them either, okay. Tomorrow Never Dies, I haven't seen it. Tor, 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 I have not seen it. Transformers, I haven't seen it. None of them. Truman Show, okay, finally onto one we have seen. I'm getting frustrated here because this is taking a really long time. I knew it would take a long time, but my voice is, you know, I got a sore. Truman Show, really fun. Really fun. I'm just kidding. It's really depressing and bad. I mean, it's not really depressing, but, you know, it's kind of like... Nah, it's like a drama. I think that Jim Carrey was amazingly cast in this movie. Uh, of course, uh, I mean, Bible Man. What did you even say about that? Haven't seen Bible Man. TV movies, another custom thing about, you know, TV movies, right? Twilight, haven't seen them. Any of them. These Avengers films, I, I don't think you can see them behind my TV, but I have not seen Avengers, um, Ultimate Avengers, Ultimate Avengers 2. I haven't seen it. Underdog, haven't seen it. Venom. This was a fun film. It wasn't, like, amazing or anything, but it's better than some people say. View to Kill. I haven't seen it. Um, v for Vendetta. Haven't seen it. Wally. This is really good. Whenever I want to be relaxed, I watch... The director commentary for it. It's really good. War of the Worlds. This I had to buy because it's Steven Spielberg, but it's really disappointing because it's nothing like the book. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I don't like that movie. Sorry. The old Willy Wonka movie I really don't like. Okay, Wizard of Oz. Uh, cursed. Definitely cursed. But... Yeah, I've seen it, like, a million times, even though I don't like Wizard of Oz very much, but it's just, like, I have to watch it, like, because it's ingrained in pop culture, but whatever. Okay, down here, I know you can't see anything, so I have to read it all out. We got Wonder Woman. This is an animated movie, Wonder Woman. Haven't seen it. World is Not Enough, haven't seen it. Wrath of the Titans, haven't seen it. Okay, we get to X-Men movies. X2, it's fine. It's fine. Fun and fine and cool, I guess. And then we got X-Men, which is also the same, okay? We got X-Men Dark Tide, which is just a, like a fan movie that was made on it and put onto a DVD, okay? And then X-Men Days of Future Past, which is all like a... Which is just like... It's really good. X-Men First Class, similarly, really good. X-Men The Last Stand is okay. It's not, like, amazing, but I think it's just, like, average. Um, X-Men Origins Wolverine. I mean... It, it's 
is so bad. Young Frankenstein. I think that's how it's pronounced. I don't know. I haven't seen it. Isn't it Mel Brooks film? I don't know. I think it is. Uh, For Your Eyes Only. I haven't seen it. Zebra Man. Haven't seen it. Zombieland. Haven't seen it. And Zorro. Haven't seen it. So we got to end our video, but just kidding, we don't, because I still got some things to talk about. Okay. First thing, this. I found this at the place I buy DVDs, and it is the most fucked up case I've ever bought. But you know what's cool is this is an HD DVD. Do you know what an HD DVD is, kids? It's that thing that rivaled Blu-ray for like two months, and then Blu-ray won because they're owned by Sony. Um... It's a little more complicated than that, but, you know, uh, this movie probably sucks, and its case sucks, and I wouldn't buy it, except it's a good kind of historical piece to have. It's fun to remember this. I can, you know, whatever. Now we got our VHS collection. I've got two VHSs. The Crow, which once I get it on DVD, I will get rid of, and Tiny Toys, which, you know, Tiny Toy Stories which is a collection of short films in the same way that the Pixar short film collection is, except it, it's older and it has the original version of the short film called Knick Knack, which they changed a little bit, not too much, but just a little bit. And so I wanted the original version of it, so I bought the, DVD, the VHS. So that's why I have all of these movies, okay? I'll eventually fill up all this shelf, and I, you'll find that I actually have candles are the things that are holding up my movies as, like, bit things to hold them up. So, you know, if you liked my video, then you're a terrible person.